Hey everybody, I'm here to talk to you about how to prepare your non-clothing items. Some of them can be a little tricky and we're gonna go over the best way to tag those and to attach your tags. First, let's talk about tags. When you print out your tags, it needs to look like this. It needs to fill up the whole page. Yes, there's gonna be a little blank margin over here, but for the most part, your tags should fill up the page. So they should approximately be four inches tall. Um, none of these little mini tags that will only take up, you know, a quarter of your page. They need to be full size tags like this. You also need to make sure that your barcodes are printed correctly. Now, the way you can guarantee that is by sending your tag file to Staples or to FedEx to have them print. Now we recommend that you do that. We highly recommend that you do that because if your tags come in and you printed it on an inkjet printer and all of these are like speckly or they have printed too close together and the tag won't scan, we are going to have to ask you to take them and print them at Staples and re-tag all of your items. Hear me. And there are people that have had to do this, unfortunately. We hate to make it happen, but we will. <clears throat> it must be on cardstock, nice and thick. None of the flimsy paper. It must be on cardstock. And it must be printed very clearly on the barcode. So that's your first thing. And if you do this all correctly, and you're on time for your appointment when you drop off, and all of your clothes are beautiful, and all of your toys are clean, and you have safety tags, which we're gonna talk about in another video, on every item, <clears throat> and everything is prepared correctly, and you have no rejects, you get a golden ticket. What's a golden ticket get you? It gets you a chance to win 100% of your sales which is amazing and the people that have won the golden tickets have just been thrilled it's it's pretty exciting so you're going to need to show up for your appointment on time all of your things need to be prepared properly and should be clean and batteries and everything um, and safety tags on everything so your aim is to get the golden ticket follow all the instructions and this can be yours and 100 percent of your your items could be yours so let's talk real quickly about where to place your tags on your items. So books, <clears throat> this one is a set of golden books. We've got a safety tag on the spines here because you can't really bend it back and make sure they're all there. So we want check-in to go as quickly and smoothly as possible. We are bringing in thousands of items and we want it to go fast. So Kathy and uh, Kristen and all the other people that are out there helping inspect um, non-clothing items need to be able to do it quickly. So here this set of books is tied with curling ribbon. Um, the tag is on the back and you notice it's not under the curling ribbon. It is clearly scannable. Um, and safety tags are clear as well. Now if you have a bunch of um, softback books like beginning readers, what you want to do is put those in a plastic bag like a gallon bag and on the back Put a list of the books that are in there and slap it on the back. Or if you're doing a set and you can't read what's on the spine, like these don't have the titles, you'd want to put together a list of what's in there and pop it on the back. So that's books. Let's say you have something that has a whole bunch of pieces and it needs to stay together. This is in a bag and on top of that, it's wrapped with what we call saran on a stick. This is amazing stuff. So they put all of this in the bag and then you wrap it up with the plastic and it can't be gotten out of. We have the safety tag here and your price tag is attached. Now, if you're wrapping stuff in plastic bags or in the plastic wrap, it's best if you use packing tape to attach the tag. You wanna try and not put on um, over the barcode because um, sometimes that'll affect our ability to scan it. But around all the edges, you can tape it all the way here and then on the bottom, but try to avoid covering the barcode. Now this little tractor here, as you can see, trying to tape a tag on here would be quite difficult. So curling ribbon, again, is your friend. Go get yourself a big old roll. It will come in handy. <clears throat> Just punch a hole in the top of the tag and tie it to the toy wherever you can. Likewise, this little pull-on guy, there's no real smooth place to attach a tag, so we just tie it through a spot where you can find it, and he's tagged and make sure you put the safety tag on there as well. This little item, again, many, many pieces. You could put it in a bag if you wanted to, or you can use saran on a stick. And this is going to be fun because I'm not real sure how this is gonna go doing this one-handed. But 
might be a good little <clears throat> thing for America's Funniest Home Videos. But you can just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. And then all you have to do is pull it really tight And there you go. And what you'll do is you'll take your tag and tape it right there on the bottom. That's done. That's another way that we also do puzzles. Do not use packing tape to tape your pieces to your puzzle because it will pull the paper, the print off of it. So again, this is just saran on a stick, wrap it up really good, stick your safety tag on and tape your tag on there. We want to have our tags near our safety tags. So try and do that so they can be easily seen. Any kind of a puzzle or a game, again, here's the tag. Upper right hand corner is your safety tag. Here, this is a stuffed animal, but it does something. It has batteries. Those are the only stuffed animals we take. And this, we just pinned the tag onto the ear. Safety tag is on the tag on the animal. For all your shoes, everybody, <clears throat> safety tags are on the inside of your shoes. And the best way to keep shoes together is to tie them with curling ribbon. Now, let's say you have a pair of shoes that you can't. You don't have the little pull tabs on here. You don't have laces to tie together. You can use binder clips to hold your shoes together to keep them together. Uh, we prefer our shoes not to be in plastic bags. But again, here's my tag. Just got a hole punched. Tie it right through there. Anything like this, again, you can just pin it on with a safety pin. Not a problem at all. And anything that you do put in a plastic bag, you can just write your number, your consigner number, on the little white spot on the back of the bag. Also, so when you are putting together a puzzle or a game to bring in, first, make sure all of the pieces are there. We're going to charge you if we get returned items. You don't get charged. So um, make sure all the pieces are there, put a puzzle together, count them, whatever you need to do to make sure all the pieces are there. Tape the box shut with some masking tape or some uh, scotch tape, and that way it won't destroy the box when people take it open. Um, so yes, tape the boxes closed in bags of items. Put stuff in a Ziploc bag. This is gonna wanna be taped with packing tape. Tape it very well. We do ask parents to keep their kids with them at all times, but that doesn't always happen, and kids are known to open bags and take things out. So tape it up to secure your items inside. Do not staple the bag together. Do not staple your tags to things. People have been known to get cut <clears throat> by that as well. Also, if you have something large that you wouldn't want to carry around with you while you're shopping, it won't fit in one of our IKEA bags. So maybe it's not real heavy, but it's just big and bulky. Um, don't put your tag on. Please do not put your tag on. Bring your tags in for your large items in an envelope. And when you get here, we're going to get you to help fill out the top part with all the information. And this will get attached to your item so that the shoppers can pull off the bottom part, leave the back, the large item by the back doors and then they can come back and claim them once they have paid. So again, do not attach your tags to your large items. And that is how you're gonna get a golden ticket. Thanks.